This summer, we'll take the time to discover some of Vero Beach hidden treasures. Hi, I'm Victoria Palacios with World Art, and today we're going to take you to the home that is the creation of Gus and Jan Miller. This two-acre home is located on the ocean front. From here, the Millers can see wild bobcats, tortoises, and they have even seen a seven-foot coach whip snake. This eclectic yet intimate home is a collection of Gus's sculptures, Jan's a monumental paintings and pottery, and even a bonsai garden. So with, let's not keep the uh, Millers waiting any longer, and let's go meet them. I'm sure it's gonna be an extraordinary experience. Well, guys, uh, we're here in your beautiful bonsai garden, and um, how did this come about? Uh, bonsai has been an interest of mine for maybe 25 years, and uh, a couple of trees are quite old, and but most of these are not. And I have another collection in my uh, northern, our summer residence, and uh, so this is just uh, the tip of the iceberg over here. Gus Miller has a bachelor's in fine arts and a master's in fine arts from the University of Syracuse in New York. He also has a postgraduate degree from um, Rome, Italy. He has exhibited in, in various museums and galleries throughout the East Coast. In um, Massachusetts, he has exhibited in the um, Museum of Fine Arts of Boston, the Cordova Museum of Sculpture and Gardens, and the Bell Beach Museum, and he has also been in various galleries throughout Miami, New York, and Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gus. Um, he's a renowned artist, sculptor, sculptor and painter. Um, what I love about your work that it's, um, it, it has sometimes a human-based approach and sometimes a very architectural-based architectural approach, mm -hmm. and, and that's what it um, amaz amazes me about your work. Your work, um, your style is, what is it, like an abstract expression? Uh, I call it constructivist, uh, because most things are assembled rather than carved or uh, more plastic means. You know, mm -hmm. I acquire a whole mass of detritus and stuff off the beaches and all kinds of driftwood, and, and then I construct it together, and it's called assemblage. And so it's, it, the materials somewhat dominate what I'm going to do. Sometimes the uh, materials will sit in my studio and it'll take me months until I can, uh, an idea comes and hits me in the brain and then I know what it's going to be. So, uh, see, yeah, I can see that style. I also, what I felt when I, f I first came in and I saw your work, that it had a very nostalgic feel to it. and. Yet it's colorful, but it has a warm look. So I guess it's because of the materials found in nature that that gives you that weather look to it. Yeah, I like that uh, uh, materials to have a look. Uh, they look of having a history. Yes. But you know, sometimes I have to use new materials mixed in with the stuff I find, and then then I have to achieve that uh, that warm look through artificial means. Um, you're also, too, um, an, a little illustrator of children's books, too. Um, you have done, like, the 4th of July, hats off to 4th of July, yeah. and how did that come about? Uh, well, I was approached, I had had an exhibition in uh, Lincoln, Massachusetts, at a small gallery, and uh, one of their customers happened to be an, uh, a writer of children's books. Her name is Harriet Ziefert, and she approached me and asked me to do a... Uh, illustrations for one of her books and, and that's how that all started and uh, so it was an, an experience for me having been mostly sculpture and painting to, to go down in the smaller scale and do illustrations and it came out very differently from most of my work so that's interesting it is interesting well his lovely wife jan miller um she's also a renowned artist herself mm -hmm. and, a, and a great cer cer potter uh, pot ceramics ceramics mm -hmm. she also has a, a bachelor's in fine arts from the um, syracuse universe from new york that's where we met that's how you two met yeah so you've been <laughs> together oh, that, that is that's a great story, and you and you also did your past postgraduate study studies in Italy in the Scuola de Bella Arte. I had with a baby. I had a baby at that point. Oh really? So mm -hmm. I didn't do as much as I would have liked. Oh, no, but you had the ex oh that is that is great. Um, well, the uh, thing about Rome is you get to go to all the museums, and it's yeah. a, it's an education in itself. The School of Dada was uh, it really uh, their main 
uh, idea was is anti-art. Mm -hmm. They were they were they wanted to throw open the doors and uh, and it was revolutionary. They wanted to say we're not going to follow the old academic ways and do realism. And so they uh, they started using sign painting and and. Uh, cut up pieces of magazines and papers, collage, and, and it became a, an anti-art movement. But what that did was it threw open the doors to all of modern art, because it tried to, it's, it all started the whole idea that anything goes. Mm. You can take anything and make art out of it. And uh, even though they're anti-art, they, they yes, produced, no, no. They, they were, they were influenced, they created a whole Schmear of art that is uh, yeah, the modern art, yeah. totally unending and uh, uh, yeah, and any anything anything possible. goes now. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that makes sense. And Jen, who were your influences in, in, in your art? Uh, a couple of women, uh, especially Joan Mitchell and Helen Frankenthaler, were are two women that I look at a lot. Mm -hmm. But mostly my influence is my husband. Aww. <laughs> He's right. been my support, and yeah. we encourage each other. And, right. We and pass enjoy ideas back and forth. Do enjoy mm -hmm. doing similar things. Gus, so this is where it's all create all your sculptures right here. Yes, this is the, my messy studio. Oh. This is a, keep everything in the garage where I'm going to make a huge mess of dust and sawdust, uh, all kinds of chips and. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, so. So anyway, these are three pieces that I've been working on most recently, and they're uh, uh, abstracted heads, and uh, they're about to be painted. I've just completed this uh, the structures. Like that, that whitewashed look to it. Yeah, the whitewashed look is uh, it'll go a little bit more color though. Like there's, there's a red on his nose already, but I'm going to bring out a few more colors, and on this one in particular. This one is, his title is uh, Pinball <laughs> Man. And so there's the pinballs on his head. And then, but I'm gonna do a kind of a treatment on his face that is more like the surface of a pinball machine. Mm. Uh, this guy is Stogie. And see so he's smoking his little cigar there. And I, I might add some hair. I, I'm not absolutely sure how that's gonna finish off. And, uh, this guy over here is, uh, is a whistler, and he's <laughs> whistling. <laughs> so it's a, it's a fun group of three. He's got a nice sense of humor. Uh, it's also based on a head, but it's oh, okay. Yeah. It's a it's a face and a head, a lips, nose, eyes, it's and uh, it's a. It also relates back to my pieces that are building rooftops, and and I've done three dimensional whole buildings. So it's a transitional between a rooftop and a, and a head. And this could, piece could either also be hung on a wall. Mm -hmm. So it can be used vertically or horizontally. So you work at the, at, in, over there and you bring in all your works here? Well, no, I work in here also. Oh, I mean, wow. This is uh, work in media that are cleaner uh, paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, Two-dimensional stuff where it's just paint and canvas. It doesn't uh, require a, a dirty studio. Well, I, I can work in here, and this functions also as our dining room sometimes. And, uh, and I have a computer set up over here. So by the front door there is this place where we do pottery. So uh, we, uh, I know this is Dan's pottery. Then, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great layout. I mean, it's uh, so it's basically the whole house of the studio. We just yeah. Yeah, work just, wherever you happen to be. You know, <laughs> feel free to. Get I mean, yeah. you know, by getting inspired in, in mm -hmm. the studio. Yeah, these are, uh, I like how the, you put the, um, the sculptures into the, the paintings. The, the yeah, paint. we just uh, saw the heads in the garage that I was working on, and these heads uh, are the same kind of motif, but they're uh, done in a different media than painting. And that, that shows kind of the paint treatment that I'll probably wind up doing on some of those ones in the garage yeah. that we Look that. I take their three dimensional. All right. I'm so excited. And then I've done a series of boat things, yeah. boat pictures, and uh, the boats are a long-standing uh, motif that I've used, and uh, I've also done three-dimensional boats, freighters. Uh, and you keep so, with that architecture. Yeah. So I have like three different uh, idea trains going along here. And so it's the heads, the boats, and then the more abstracted. Uh, are these collage, collages? Yeah, they're all collages. 
uh, mixed with acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. This is my studio. I have the best room in the house. Gus has two studios. I just have the one. But I love it up here. And this field view I've painted a lot of times. One of the paintings is over at the hospital in their boardroom of my studio. And this is one that I still have. And the still life painting, I've done a lot of those. And I go to the thrift shop to get my materials. And they have great stuff for doing still life. And the local gallery that handles my work always wants flower paintings. So I do a bunch of flower paintings for them every year. And, and yeah, this is what I, I love about your work, that is those everyday objects, you transform it into art. I mean, it feels like you were sitting in the chair, that interview, and it became a piece of art. And, and that is the beauty of, of your work. And I try to incorporate the flower paintings yeah, the subject great. into the background in that one. Yeah, it's, it's a great studio up here. This painting is of an old Valencia tree over where Grand Harbor is now. And I was doing it in a Van Gogh style. You can see in the brushwork, I was being influenced by what he did. And I also do a lot of paintings of water lilies because of McKee Garden. They have a paint out every year. And so I go and do plain air painting, which is what, this is one from that efforts that we make. And one last painting is of a woman walking on the beach. Because the beach is so much a part of our life here. This is some of my pottery. I liked the energy that pottery takes uh, as a relief from working on canvases. And I use some of the same imagery, flowers and birds. I like how you transmit it to the, to the pottery. And you, you create it all here? It's all and made here? It's made here, and it's great for gift giving. It's, all of our relatives have tons of this stuff now. Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful. And you can use it too, so it's like an artist. You mm -hmm. can exactly. That you can live with. And I like how all the elements here have worked, you know, the art with the nature, with everyday items, they all combine each other and work in harmony. Right. This is your studio where you um, make your pottery here, right here. Gus and I both work in this room, and usually the wheel is pottery wheel set up there and then against the wall. It's in the garage at the moment. Um, your work with his sculpture, they complement each that other. That sculpture of Gus's is called Skip. And on the table there on the side is our glaze setup. Yeah, and it was a great. It was a wonderful Thank it was, you. It was a great experience. I'm sure I enjoyed it, and mm -hmm. I think our audience is really going to enjoy this and to realize that there are, you know, this type of artwork in, in town. So there are beaches, a great town. It is, it is, yeah. and, and thank you for your support. Yeah. About great museum. Yeah. Well, we I enjoyed showing our house to you. It's oh, been fun for, for us. I hope the audience enjoys it as well. I hope so yeah. too. I think they will, and I enjoyed it. And um. And I hope you have a great trip right up north, and we'll Thanks. see you in next season. <laughs> okay, great. Bye.